Okay, so now we're going to talk about number 12 on page 150 in your textbook. And this is just a little more complicated. In this program, the user will enter two prices. And you're going to calculate the total cost given that the second item or the lowest priced item entered, you take half off of it. So this is going to require a few if statements. Uh, so let's get the inputs first. What are the inputs? What is entered on the screen? Two things, right? I'm not going to tell you what they are. Then let's look at what's displayed. So that will give you the outputs. Mm, one thing is displayed, right? So you're going to have two inputs and an output. And in the middle, you're going to probably have a couple of calculate statements, uh, therefore a couple of processing items. Um, and you're going to need some if statements because you only take half off the lowest price entered. So the, the user enters item 1 and item 2 and then you've got to say if item 1 is greater than item 2 you're going to take half off item 2. Else you're going to take half off item 1. Right? But what happens if they're equal? So you need to cover that too. I'm not going to tell you how to do that or if you need to do that in a separate way. And once you've taken half off, then you're going to add back the items um, to get the correct amount to display on the screen. I've had students do this many ways. What seems simplest to them is to do the if structure, the calculate and display statements within the if structure. Um, for some reason, they se that seems to be more logical to them or easier to think through. And that is certainly an accepted way to do that. So good luck with problem 12, the buy one, get one half off sale. Let me know if you have any other questions.